Good day and welcome to another broadcast of Venture Capital Fund. This program is a program that is designed to look at financial intelligence and business intelligence. The information that we will bring to you on a daily basis are really designed to help you to do a deep dive into financial intelligence models that can help you to enhance your cash flow and cash flow maximize. It can also help you to reduce your debt cost. And in reducing your debt cost, you're able to cash out earlier on your equity and you're able to get equity leverage. In terms of business, our business model will certainly be working with you to really help you how to take your business from active income cash flow to passive income cash flow to multiple streams of income where you are literally building a brand that has local, regional, and international relevance. Our business models will literally position you to understand how to organize your business, your brand, your idea, to build generational wealth and intergenerational wealth. So if you're in business and you intend to get into business, this is the content for you. So I want to encourage you to Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this program. Just click the subscribe button below the screen and you will be the first to get these programs on a daily basis. Today, I wanna to welcome you as we do a deep dive into a four-step concept, a four-step series that we will call Leadership and Team Dynamics for Business. Now, it's important for you to understand essential leadership attributes, and it's also essential for you to understand team dynamics for business. So this program is largely based on examining these realities. So at the end of the day, you know how to apply some of these concepts to your place of work, to your organization. Yesterday, this, the, the four tenets of this program, we will be looking at why smart leaders are great managers, why smart leaders are great managers, and we examine this yesterday in the last broadcast. We, look at, we do a little deep dive into this, and today I want us to look at why smart managers are more than just great leaders, but they are proactive leaders. And we'll talk about that today. The other two important concepts that we'll be looking at, they are the importance of team dynamics. You need to know this. Last but not least, we look at how to bulletproof your business success. You want to know what steps you can take to earn and keep your business success story. And we will talk about that over the next few days. So yesterday we begin by saying that the success of any business rises and fall on leadership. And this is something that I want you to really take and shovel it around your head and really commit the time to understand what this is saying. The success of a business, any business, rises and fall on leadership. And you need to be aware of this. If you're experiencing some degree of challenge in your business and how your business is cash flowing, look at leadership. It's important for you to come back right here. If you don't know what to look for, I want to encourage you to reach out to us at Global Branding and Marketing, reach out to us at Venture Capital Inc. And we will commit the time, the talent, and the resources to navigate you through this process. Yesterday, we also say that the success of a leader rises and fall on vision mm -hmm. and the ability to communicate that vision to all stakeholders across the board. So it's about a vision and it's about application. Application is about your ability to communicate that information clearly and effectively to all stakeholders across the table, 
across the board. So as we do that deep dive into the leadership, it's important that you keep this at the back of your minds. And we looked at this yesterday. So we're looking today at leadership and team dynamics for business, and we're looking at part two. But let's talk about team dynamics before I get into part two today. What exactly is team dynamics? Do you think that to build an organization is simply to do your recruitment, selection, placement, and you place anybody anyhow into the organization? In today's world, you have to not only examine the experience and knowledge that they are coming with, but you also have to look for the knowledge gap. And you have to also ensure that within your institution, you have the kind of leader manager that can quickly recognize that knowledge gap and start to speak to the issue because failing to recognize the knowledge gap and speak to the issue within the team dynamics, it can hurt your organization significantly. It can hurt the ability of the organization to cash flow maximize. It can hurt the ability of the organization to make impact where it should be making the impact most. And where do you want to make the impact? On the internal workforce and the external public. Why the internal workforce? Because you want to reduce absenteeism. You want to reduce staff turnover. You want to enhance productivity. You want to increase the profit of the organization. You want to enhance job satisfaction. So all of these things are critical things for you to be looking at when we are talking about team dynamics, recognizing knowledge gap in, in the organization and out of the organization and ensure that you can take steps to deal with it. So today we want to do a deep dive into some new ideas that we have developed. Um, some are not so new. But we want to talk today about why smart managers are more than just great leaders, but they are proactive leaders. Now, what does it take to be a proactive leader? What exactly does it take to be a proactive leader? The proactive leader, as is clearly explained in my books, they have three distinct characteristics. One, they think ahead. Two, they see beyond the problem. And four, they are empowered to take informed action to achieve desired results. Informed action, yes, that's different than taking action. And these are systems that you need to know. So let's dive deep into the belly of these concepts. And I trust that you get tremendous benefits from these concepts in terms of helping you with your business and your brand. What exactly do I mean by the term think ahead? In this context, it's not only to think ahead, but it's to master the ability to think ahead. But what does it take to master the ability to think ahead? ahead. What does thinking ahead means? Thinking ahead is the application of your creative thinking abilities that allows you to see the beginning, the end, and the in-between of a given process. And no, I'm not telling you to predict the future. I'm telling you you have magics in your, in your hands and how you use your faculties to create the future. And in the event that you're doubting how you can create the future, let me put this to you. A building contractor first visualize the building that he wants. Step one, visualization. Thinking ahead. Step two, 
developing his builder's plan drawing. He either do it or get an architect to do that for him. So you have visualization step one, you have architectural drawing step two, you have consolidation or bringing together of your team, acclimatization of your team to interpret exactly the steps that needs to be taken to get the building done according to the builder's plan drawing. And then you send them out to work. Step three. Step four, you should have a direct replica of that vision in physical form. Every single building build, builder contractor understand this process, the process of thinking ahead, which is the application of your creative thinking ability that allows you to see the beginning, the end, and the in-between of a given process. Do you think that builders, contractor, that contractor, had a smooth ride the entire process? No. And that's where we talk about seeing the in-between. Let me go back this slowly again. In this program, we are not telling you to predict the future. We're telling you that you have magic in, magic in your hand and you have a unique brain power that if you leverage it in the right way, it can position you to create the future. Every single building contractor that I know are masters at creating the future. When you hire a building contractor to build your home, to build your industry, to build your you know, dream organization, the building contractor is interpreting your vision. If you don't have a vision, the state law is that you have to get your builder's plan drawn. You have to get a drawing. And it's based on that drawing action is taken to manifest exactly what is on that drawing. And that is a simple process of applying your creative thinking ability that allows you to see the beginning, the end, and the in-between of a given process. And you want to be able to master this. This is what we call mastering the ability of thinking ahead. But this is also applicable to your business because you just don't wake up and start a business. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why so many businesses across the world fail. Yes, you wake up and you have a vision for a business, but what is this, the next step? Just like the building contractor, you develop your business plan drawing. You develop your business strategic plan. That's step two. And in that business strategic plan, we looked at this yesterday, you want to achieve two things. You want to ask yourself, how is my business idea? It's going to impact people. How is it going to impact the internal workforce and how is it going to impact the general public? The second thing that you need to ask yourself is what is your sales expectation value trade? So the first one is what is your brand intention value trade? And the second one is what is your sales expectation value trade? And this has everything to do with how you're going to cash for that business. So as you develop your business plan drawing, your business plan is speaking to your brand intention value trade, how you're going to impact the internal workers and the public, and it's also speaking about your sales expectation value trade, which is how you're going to cash flow, how you're going to diversify and grow and integrate your business idea across regional and global markets. Your business strategic plan must represent this. Step two, what is step three? Perhaps you need to get a physical space or a virtual space, and you need to start identifying the key human resources to execute that plan. Just like in a builder's plan drawing. Just like with the contractor. So the process of thinking ahead is applicable to the business, is applicable to the contractor, it's applicable to every area of your life. And you want to be certain that you can master this art, master this ability of thinking ahead. Again, we are not talking about predicting the future. We are talking about empowering yourself 
to have enough knowledge, enough information, enough skin in the game to create the future. If you are not actively involved in creating the future, believe me, someone else is. And you will have to be subservient to that vision that they have for the world. Our mission at Global Branding and Marketing and Venture Capital Inc. is to empower you with the right information that allows you to become the dream maker, the game changer, and the trendsetter in your area of business. It's to empower you to become the global thinkers, social actors, and transformational leaders in your field of business. It begins in this context with you mastering the ability to think ahead. The second concept that we're going to look at here is you mastering the ability to see beyond problems. And this is something that you want to do. Most people become stuck because they're not able to see beyond the problem. They were never prepared to deal with the problem. COVID-19 hits. COVID-19 is affecting the bottom line of the organization. COVID-19 is affecting management relationship with the workforce because management do not have the cash flow to deal with it. Did anyone in your organization really prepare you to deal with this massive drop in cash flow that is gonna affect not only the life of the business, but every single person in that organization who have committed their blood, sweat and tears for many, many years to help scale and grow the business. Who in your leadership would have forecast this, think ahead of this, and help you to develop a game plan to go beyond the problem. In many of my program, I would say that there are some leaders who are worse than reacting. You just simply don't react. You just simply you know, become numb to a number of critical issues relating to leadership. So the process here is where you're going to be able to position yourself to become a master. You're going to master the ability of seeing beyond problems. So you can get businesses on stock. You can get ideas on stock. You can get brands on stock. You can get people on stock. The last thing you want to do or you want in your organizations to have a team of people whose prefrontal cortex and executive motor skills are not functioning the way that you would expect it to function in order to help you to scale your vision, scale your ideas, scale your brand. It requires a special skill to really begin to get people to become unstuck. We train people to be not as reactive as we want them to be, not as proactive as we want them to be. In our program, this is again one of the reasons why we are talking today about why smart managers are more than great leaders, but they are proactive leaders. You want to ensure that your team, every single department within your organization have the proactive leader. You want proactive leadership in marketing. You want proactive leadership in finance. You want proactive leadership in human resource development. You want proactive leadership in communication, in public relations. You want proactive leadership in innovation. You want proactive leadership in every single department of your organization. You need to be certain that the next time COVID-19 comes around or some pandemic comes around, your business security is fireproof. 
they're smart in a way to way innovative ways to do this. Again, this is why we continue to say it's good to have a business and to have the business cash flow. But what is your PFA, your professional financial advisor, telling you in terms of seeing beyond the problems? What is he telling you to continue to cash flow your operation in light of crisis? There are many markets that are existing today that are still cash flow and passive cash flow. There are some essential areas of business that will always be in demand. What is your PFA, professional financial advisor, personal financial advisor, saying to you about this? How are they helping you to see past the problem? Now, there are some basic things that I want to walk you through now as it relates to seeing beyond the problem. To see beyond the problem is to know the problem, is to be able to forecast that problem, is to be able to look at past data to see what's likely to come. Every eight to 10 years, the world has been experiencing what we call a, a global recession or some type of recession. Do you wait until recession come at your door to don't start thinking about recession? Or do you ensure that you have the proactive leaders that can think ahead and see beyond problems and help you to build a game plan to mitigate these crises when they arrive? This is what we mean by thinking ahead and seeing beyond the problem because you want to ensure that nothing is affecting the cash flow of your organization. Nothing is affecting the cash flow of your business. And I want to say this. Find people that understand financial intelligence know that the best time to cash flow is in a crisis. If you don't know how, speak to us at Venture Capital Fund. Speak to us at Global Brand and Marketing. We'll be happy to engage you. So happy to work with you. The best time to cash flow maximize is in a crisis. So we're talking here about seeing beyond the problem. It's about seeing, it's about knowing, it's about owning the entire portfolio. And you want to become a master of this. You must see the entire organization into its respective units and departments. You must know the entire department in terms of its respective units. You must own the respective organization breaking down into its respective departments. Because it's only with this kind of knowledge you're, in, so you're putting yourself in that position of strength to be able to see beyond the problem that is likely to arise. You see, when you know the organization and you have historical data, you can actually predict the future in some cases, or at least have some idea of what has been past trends and what is likely to be future trends. And in so doing, you come up with your configuration management system to mitigate any challenges that may arise. Let me explain this a little bit more to you as a practical example. You can see this book, right? Yes, you can. And it's just like when you walk out and you see a, an excellent company out there, you've seen that company. But do you know this book? Do you know what it's saying? Do you know what this book is teaching about? Do you know what you know, each chapter is, is telling you about? Do you know the organization that you're looking at? No. You don't have enough skill in the game to understand the book and to understand your organization. So what we're saying here for you to be able to see beyond problems, you have to go one step further than seeing the book. You've got to see the book and you've got to get into the pages of the book and read the book. That is what allows you to know the book. And when you start to know the book, you get a better appreciation of what the book is saying. So when you get into the organization, deep into the organization, deep into the belly of the corporate structure, you understand the organization.
organization. And it's by understanding the organization, you want to go one step forward, you want to own, own it. You want to feel as though you have a 0.1% shares in the organization. Now that 0.1% share interest in the organization gives you 100% ownership. Just feel that way. All right, so you have invested interest in the organization. You want this type of energy to come to the organization where your team leaders are seeing the organization, knowing the organization, owning the organization, and is able to take the kind of action to protect the organization by simply putting themselves in that position of strength, see beyond the problems. It requires us a, a special type of skill set. Many organizations are not, are not trained this way, where we train our team leaders, our managers, the forecast, to see beyond problems. And it's relevant, relevant to every single department. Don't wait until you have absenteeism and start, start turning over to now, start thinking about it and say, why me? There are innovative, practical tools that can be applied to prevent this from happening. Do you know the reason why you have absenteeism and staff turnover? We have done the research and we're willing to share those information with you to prevent this hemorrhaging from taking place. Your workforce are not robots, they're humans. Perhaps we need some more empathy. Perhaps we need to speak more about blanket workplace self-actualization, a unique thesis that we have developed to really help you to develop a brand new corporate culture. It can help in seeing beyond the problem. The last concept that I'm gonna talk about here today is master. You want to put yourself in that position of strength where you can master the ability to take informed action. And yes, there's a difference between taking action and taking informed action. You take action every day in your life. You take action every day in the life of your business. But yeah, there's a difference between informed action and action. And let me give you an example. I'm gonna use my books again, my best-selling books, because I'm trying to say to you, get copies of these books. I'm an author. And we're talking here about taking informed action. I'm an author. I know what to do to write the book, so I begin with my table of content. And I begin to breathe life into each one of the content areas. And then I come up with a book. But what I didn't do is to do the research. I take action to write the book, but I didn't take action, the right kind of action to ensure that when I finish writing the book, we have an existing consumer market for the book. I didn't take time to understand who is my target market, their needs, wants, and expectations. And in understanding needs, wants, and expectations, I then write this book to appeal to those interests. So a writer can write. It doesn't mean that the writer is informed. In our context, we are talking about informed action as it relates to your business. You want to know that you can take the appropriate steps that can literally fast track the growth of your organization, that can literally position you to impact your specific demographic from the get go. There are smarter ways of doing things. And what we do at Global Bread and Marketing and Venture Capital Inc is to ensure that you have those smarter skill set, those smarter tools that can literally help to move your business with leaps and bounds. You want to leapfrog your vision and to ensure that it has impact in that whole process. So today we look at three central concepts under the heading, leadership and team dynamics for business. And uh, there's four concepts that we're gonna be looking at. And uh, today we look at 
how to master the ability to think ahead, how to master the ability to see beyond problems, and how to master the ability to take informed action, to scale, diversify, and integrate your business, your ideas, your brand into local, regional, and international trail. I know I only scratched the surface with the information that we give you today, but I think it was enough to whet your appetite in terms of the quality of the programs that we're going to be providing you and your team to really help your team to become the global thinkers, the social actors, and the transformational leaders, to become the dream makers, the game changers, and the trendsetters in the life of your business. And I want to re-emphasize these points. The success of your business, any business, rises and falls on leadership. And you need to ensure that you have the right type of leader in your organization. And we also say this, smart leaders are great managers. And there's a reason why we said that. Look back at the last broadcast and you will see the reasons why we're saying this. I also went on to say that the success of a leader, any leader, rises and falls on vision and the ability to communicate that vision to all stakeholders across the table, across the board. It is not only about the vision, it is also about the ability to communicate that vision across the board. To communicate the vision, that vision effectively is not only about your sales expectations, it's also about the brand intention. And when you combine this knowledge, it gives you the tool to fast track impact, to fast track conversion, to fast track confidence, to fast track tra trust, to fast track public credibility in your brand. And you owe it to yourself to get this kind of information that we are talking about. Okay. Now, again, in the event that you're joining me for the first time and you've never liked or subscribed to this program, I want to encourage you to go right ahead and do so. Just click the button below the screen and just subscribe. So you'll be the first to get this information on a daily basis that we're going to be bringing to you. It's all about helping your business to cash flow maximize. It's all about helping your business to become a better business, smarter business, and building your business with local, regional, international relevance. This information is free. Just click it, and you'll be the first to get this information. And we will so be so happy for you to support us in this regard because it will help us to reach more people, and it will help us to achieve the objective and with this channel. So we would love to have your support. Again, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm a business development consultant by profession. I'm a humanitarian by nature, and I'm the multiple best-selling author for several books, including Billionaire Codes and Managers Toolkit. Be blessed and see you on the other side.